da ba da ba da ba boom Oh no. Ah, but to reminisce and to remember. Hello, internet friends. Uh, just a quick one. Um, I was chatting with a friend the other day at, um, at a conference and what he was telling me was that he's just kind of rebought a Super Nintendo and he's playing all the old games again that he used to when he was a kid. And it got me thinking, um, well, I had to rebuy a Super Nintendo, so whatever happened to um, my SNES? And I guess, you know, when you're a kid, you kind of go off of things and you sell it or you, you trade up. You tend not to keep as, as, as much stuff. But then we got round to talking about games that you've sold or no longer have that you really wish you did. Now, um, I've got quite an interesting one. Um, the game for me is Secret of Mana, the Squaresoft RPG. I got it literally kind of the day it came out and for months me and my stepbrothers would play that game. Um, we, we lived in that game that like for a few months that was our life. Um, but anyway, time goes on and um, I have no idea what happened to it. I have no idea what happened to my Super Nintendo. I say I must have, uh, you know, sold it to trade up or anything. I have a feeling I might have sold my Super Nintendo for booze. I have a horrible feeling that I traded it in at like a CX or something uh, to buy cans of beer, which I regret, especially as when I was a kid, I'm exactly like I am now. Um, I'm really kind of anal about the boxes. Like my Secret of Mana was in absolutely immaculate condition. It had the map that was always neatly folded back and the instructions. But that's not the worst thing uh, with Secret of Mana is when I moved out of home um, for, I don't know, it was a few months, I lived with some buddies in um, Paul in Dorset. And I actually had to share a room with my best mate. Even shared a bed. We, we, we put pillows down the middle. It was all right. It was, it was nothing untoward. And we had a little TV in the room. So we thought, oh, I know. Why don't we go and, uh, you know, get a Super Nintendo? Again, I can't remember where we got it from, but one day my mate turns up with the Super Nintendo. It was like, right, what games are we going to get? Secret of Mana. We went out to, I think, like there was a covered market with video games, a uh, video game store in, in Paul. And we went and we bought a car only version of Secret of Mana. And I think we probably paid, we didn't really have any money. You know, we had to share a room. We weren't exactly rich. We probably paid 15 quid for it. And we played it and we loved it. And when I moved out of that house, I think we binned the Super Nintendo. I have no idea what happened to it. I mean, this is, this is many years ago now. But at the time, it was, you know, it didn't really matter. It was just a Super Nintendo. It was a kind of throwaway stuff. So... I'm kind of asking, you know, of any of you guys, you know, leave a comment below. Please leave a comment about it because I want to know I'm not the only one. Have you regretted selling something that would later, you know, go on to be worth worth a lot of money? I think probably for me it is Secret of Mana. And the fact I had it twice, I had it twice, I've owned it twice. And I now don't own a copy because it's too expensive. Little did we know at the time that um, obviously certain, you know, SNES games were going to go on to the you know, worth a lot of money. But I just thought I'd share that story with you at uh, the time that I've sold, or I think quite possibly binned, uh, Secret of Mana. Anyway. End slate. Anyway, remember to like, comment and share, and I'll keep making videos. So really this time, until next time, goodbye.